we podcasting? I don't know. How are we are podcasting? Are we podcasting, you guys? Oh, yes. I'm just a picture of beauty right now. Mm. This is the hashtag I'm so hard podcast. You can find us wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah, you if can... you want to see this sexy action, you can oh, go to YouTube. so hot. Both of us have got old sweaters on that are like. So old. Mine's like pilly and disgusting. Mine's from the bottom like... of my laundry basket because uh, you can't smell a podcast. And if you could. Good for you. Sorry. But you can watch this podcast on YouTube. You can go find us YouTube on all the socials, channel. Instagram. Rate, review, subscribe. Yeah, all that. You guys know Look how show. lively we sound. Actually, I have been listening to a lot of new podcasts. Have you really? And a lot of people talk like this. I can't with that. On their podcast. And I'm like, NPR, if you're telling, because they will tell like the most compelling story ever, but everybody else, I feel like you are. I'm like, fucking spit it out, man. Spit it out. Yeah, also, like, you. Like, like, I get being an intellectual and talking slow, and then I'm like, I have attention deficit disorder. I get it. I but start the other to guys, develop like, it. You know, we always laugh whenever we get interviewed by daytime radio. It's one of my favorite things that Colin makes fun of. It's always like, hey, this is Chevy from Froggy okay. 104.7. And they talk so That's the opposite. Fast. I can't keep up with it. They're like, hey, tell us where you're going on tour next. And while you're at it, also list all your <laughs> elementary school teachers in order of favorites. <laughs> Go. And then you're like, ah, what? I can't. I can't. I don't, it's so true. I just sit there and I stare. And, and then there's true crimers that have the like vocal fry, and he walked into the building. With yeah, vocal fry. But you know, I was listening to you guys. I'm sure you listened to my favorite murder, the Murder Girls. We love them. They're perfect. But they are perfect. And they were saying how like that is like a criticism specifically of women and not of men. On Isn't that podcasts. interesting? Yeah, but it it makes sense. It's women get called that they have fry. That they're shrill, and it's just a way of saying, like, hey, ladies, we don't like anything about you, including your fucking voices. That's interesting. That is interesting because yeah. I do find, like, if someone's shrill, I can't deal with it. And if someone has vocal fry, I sort of can't deal with it. I'm trying to think if there's male versions of that that, like, literally yeah, it's the guy that's like this. Yes, hey, it's Brian. Brian. Uh, on the zoo. We're coming to you live from, oh my God. Yeah. I'm I, 65 and I still drive a Camaro. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, God, stop. Are you? Ugh. Stewie and the Beast. <laughs> uh, welcome to our it's morning show. Rocky it 1. Is, it is. We are. Yeah. We're so tired right now. And like, Kristen has a really good reason for being tired today. Well, uh, I, I While just, we're podcasting, we. I'm, re- I'm so excited to talk about this. I wish there was one shred more energy in my body but i felt oh like God, it i was... know am i selling it so shitty to be i like, know hey no, guys I... buckle up for this joy ride we're Same. so fucking tired we're right? ready no, to listen, pounce. i want you to know i'm just gonna pre-warn you that i have just started drinking chardonnay 30 minutes ago and i am not i'm not censoring myself and i'm Hell not no. gonna slow down on it because i'm not either i have two drinks that i'm ha- that... i have two drinks an orange drink with electrolytes and a red drink with booze in it. And I'm going to hit the one red one. It's one of those vitamin dr- B it is. drinks from my husband. It is. Is he going to keep me awake? Oh, shit, maybe. He said it was just electrolytes. Did I just drink a Celsius? It's oh, not a God. Celsius, but it's like, a, it's like if you go into a doctor that's slightly like Askew? not legit, we'll be like, here. It's like that, but you can buy it at Costco. Am I going to be high right now? I don't no, care. No, no. It'll no. be fine. It'll be fine. I'm very excited to talk about what we're going to talk about today because I've been kind of holding on to it. And I think it was just because we sort of couldn't believe all of this was unraveling. No, there were a lot of reasons. Can yeah. I help you unfold yeah. this Can story? Can you unfold it? Okay. Well, there were a lot of reasons that you didn't. Okay. Should we tell them what we're talking Ta- about Let's first? tell them what it is. Yeah. My son, I'm going to, I'm going to. Because uh, people are asking about they're it. They're asking. People are messaging exciting. about it and it's super exciting. It's exciting. So little Finn Sweeney. Little Finn Sweeney. The firstborn of our crew. Our crew. It's going to be 13 in February. I don't want to think about I can't that. even think about it. He's still a little like burping little baby. baby. Yeah. Little burping baby that yeah. Jen thought maybe had some, uh. Some learning issues because he was so he massive. He's so big, you and he guys. can pull. And I was like, he's stuff four, off of our right? table. And was like, no, he's one. And I was like, oh. She's oh. like, dear Finn, 
can I ask you to please leave alone the antique plane from the tape? Oh, he's Can't just you grabbed tell an antique from a repro. That's no, but he, he, I was like, he's 18 months, Jen. He's gonna... He was the first teeny baby that I was, that I ever babysat really. Yeah. And we watched gangland together. We, I'll always yeah. love him. Yeah. He's, he's, my she boo. let me, she let me go to a movie with my husband. It was the best thing ever. And it was like, I think all in, we were gone for two and a half hours because I forgot my pump. And so my boobs were exploding. Otherwise it would have been it, out longer. It really was it so was dang great. fast. It, they went to PF Chang's. They must've just sat at the bar, ordered yeah. apps and then went to go see a, a movie, 80 minute movie, 80 <laughs> minute we movie, probably left, back. left early and then got back and Jen handled everything beautifully. They were happy together watching a, deeply r-rated movie about yep. gang violence yep. and uh it's a doc it's you, it was not. a doc it's fine, it's such a it's fine. Show, he's into it now you yeah. know uh yeah. so when we were in i guess i'll just say this finn is going to be on a tv show Ooh. and it's called extended family and it's going to be on nbc, NBC. and i'm going to read this information so you guys have it because i'm i'm so excited i i probably will lose it at some point Saturday, December 23rd, 23rd, um, 8 p.m., 5 p.m. PST, Extended Family season premiere, 8.30 uh, night after night court holiday episode. What does Ooh. that mean? Am I saying that wrong? I'm really not saying that it's, very clearly. Is it at 8? Can you read that? Yeah. My glasses, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so tired. Okay. So it's, yeah, December 23rd. That's going to be really fun. It's December 23rd. So it's it's is 8 the pilot for most people. Yeah, you yep. can check. It's on NBC is the big deal. It's the series premiere, and then they have uh, at eight. Th- so it's going on before night before court. Before night court, yeah. Which, which is having can your- you remember when on Thursdays like night court was the show, and now his show is going to be on before night court okay, on Tuesday? So it is blows it, my mind. Is it going to be on Tuesday nights? Okay. Yes. Okay. But they're going to do. They're going to show the first so episode, the which first- is called a pilot, on the twenty third and on. January 2nd? Okay, because that's... Then January 2nd is Tuesday nights. It will be like when it usually runs. Yeah. So you're going to go look for it on NBC on Tuesday nights, and it'll be at 8.30 then. But yep. go go check it out on the 23rd. But I th- I was going to say, I think she didn't want to say anything because we had this writer strike and this actor yes. strike, and so nothing was happening. Nothing could be talked about. Nothing could be promoted. And it was like, please let it be happening and yep. continuing. And it is, and it's magic. It's and crazy. So now we're going to talk about it. It's crazy. It's crazy. And um, I, I wait, wait, I'm putting my glasses up. I, I just got off of set literally 30 minutes ago yeah. and I wanted to just show up from there so you can see like kind of like this behind the scenes view because nobody has a more behind the scenes view than a stage mom. You want to talk about shifting status. This isn't about me. Let me just go back. Okay. So during the pandemic, Um, we, the kids were at home and because I had done some commercials, they had this great, um, you know, manager, agent, whatever you will. And that's how you get auditions. Do an impression of her because she's love. Oh no, I know it'll hurt her feelings. No, No. it won't. No, Deb, you know, she's like, she's, she's She's fast fast talking, talking. fast talking Boston. You know, she's like fast talking. She's like, oh, I'm so excited. She's just, she's so lovely. And, um, we met her and. I was like, look, our kids like to do improv and comedy and stuff like that. We're not big Hollywood people, but if you there's an opportunity you think is awesome, we would they, they would, would like the kids it. would love and it. we're they in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. They're bored as hell, so we decide these auditions start to come through, and we're like, let's do them. It's fine. We're what the hell else are we doing? Let's set up the camera. We everything is self taped. So anyway, Finn. So that means that so. When you audition, you used to go into like this room, which and was way fun. They'd call like twenty five people in at one time, and you'd go and read the lines and whatnot yeah. in front of a, one camera. But because of the pandemic, nobody could go into a room. You would set up your phone or your video camera, read the lines, and then send it in. Yeah, which is hard to do. So it's, it's a really, really hard big when deal your they... husband is auditioning, and then you're running the camera, and you're like, oh. "I really know how to frame this," but he's like, "No, do it this way." And then you get into a marital fight on the tape. And then you send that in. They're like, we don't want to deal with you guys. And we're like, why? Well, we got to slow this down. Because I know, I, man. We're talking no, a mile. I know. Away. Good. We're good. I say we, I think that we got to slow this down because it's such an interesting world. It really That is. I don't think like everyone knows. And like, there's some parts of it, like, I don't, I don't know that are like all pops and hisses to me. And I'm just like, 
I, I don't know what they are, Same. but so so they the kids would audition for these commercials, yeah, and then did they get commercials? Yeah, like, okay. Both kids have done commercials, and so the the kids originally how it worked was I was doing commercials, and I loved working in commercials. I thought it was like the most fun you guys world. Have seen them, if you know. You, listen, yeah. you have, but you don't know it's me because I'm the most like I. I'm a real basic bitch and it works out great when you're trying to push like Tide and analgesics. I was really in my, She's I was in the my gas window. She's lady, you guys. I was, it's time you know. And I had such fun. And then uh, I was very lucky to work with this director who I got to work with many times. And he was like, hey, we have a, a spot. Do you want to have your kids in it? And I was like, well, what does that mean? And they're like, they get paid the same. And I'm like, Means absolutely. Money goes into their college fund. Immediately. And, yeah. Immediately. It was such and a gift. Can I say this thing that like takes this off of yeah. you? That that like I think people that don't live in LA might think that there's like for your kids to be doing this, you have to like be a stage mom or you have to like force your kids into it, that kind of thing. Here where we live in LA, because yeah. we lived in Nebraska, we've lived in LA, both of us yeah. for like the last twenty years. You you meet people like your your dentist is like asked my dentist literally yeah. asked me to be in a commercial I was like no my teeth are terrible but like <laughs> I mean I'm honestly, like, this, you like dummy you negotiate that deal it's just the world it's like it is you, there's this ac- real a little bit of access agent. here Once, yeah and it's like so so it's not a world that if you if you live in Oklahoma and you want your child to be an actor there's probably going to be some major pushing on your part to get that to happen and we know those people that's no not judgment us. no judgment no ju- it's just no not judgment us. i'm just saying Kristen has been like hey if you guys are having fun you can do this it's yeah. to them it's like soccer it's like basketball it's like piano lessons if you do it you're gonna try hard yeah but it's not we're not you're you're i'm not our pushing mortgage it. is not based on no. you guys doing this no so. and also might i just say like I was working as a mom. So like they would go, do you want your kids in this? And then Finn was being a real butthole. And I was like, you're sitting the bench, buddy. You're really bringing my game can down. So I would just, another kid to be yeah, I was like, kid can I get a different yeah. kid? He, mine does not respond to me. You do not want this on set. So yeah. I made Finn, Finn sat out up until the pandemic. Jeez. A couple of years, like just because he wasn't having fun and it was, it was starting to feel hard. And I was like, okay. So, but they both like Colin and I, we're both, both performers. We're both improvisers. We're both you guys comedians. Have seen these kids they're on the Instagram same. and stuff? They're funny. They're, they're funny. They're, so here's I, here's so how in, it all came yeah, to be. It's so interesting how it Deb, happened, the fast talking Boston. Hey, hey, Kristen, lady, Kristen, I, I got, need, I got, I, got I need this. you get to CBS Redford, right? Pronto sends us this me. audition, and in the world of auditions, in the world of uh, TV and film, a pilot is the first episode of any new tv show i'm not talking down to you i'm just telling you shit i didn't know so it's called a pilot so they sent us an audition for this pilot and it was the untitled something something project fake name so because so you then you know like you don't know who it is but clearly it was a good one because it was for nbc which those don't come through very much yeah the the part read we need a irish uh kind of a smart aleck 10 year old check 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 who plays baseball check and i was like that's finn sweeney there you have it so he did the audition and he was great he did the self-tape which he's, we recorded him he's not smart alecky to me i will have you not know, smart alecky what do you amazing. call it? like like he's witty. funny witty. witty he's like yeah you know, he's got that irish thing like he'll he'll he is smart alecky yeah. to his mom but he's not not me. in a negative way but so then he does the audition and then he gets a call back and i was like Wow, that's great. What the hell? And then, <laughs> okay, so a callback is they like you. You're still in the mix with a lot of people, but they call him back. Yeah. So he makes it to the next step. And I'm like, this is exciting. And what I was telling him, Finn, this you you worked hard. You memorized your lines. And they this is them saying, we recognize your hard work. So we're going to do a callback. In my head, I'm like, and then we'll set it and forget it because this is this is how this yeah, business that's works. That's your trophy. You they, don't get it. You 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 did it, and you did a good job. And, and that's, that's your, your trophy. trophy that you got. And then to come we're back all and... gonna just move on from this. And we had this conversation we where sure I was did. like, you know what? He doesn't care. He's gonna get Jen it. Jen goes, he's gonna get it, and I'm like, yeah. no, he's not. And it's okay. And that's the point because I do believe this is a sidebar. I believe that it's so good to measure certain. Um, 
rejection, this is kind of in a different world in itself because rejection is like a pretty big kick in the balls. And I know that because I've felt nothing. Uh, nothing but rejection for a strong like well, 18 years the gift, just so everybody understands the gift. <laughs> the gift that you have when you're a kid I think and it's, you do yeah. stuff like this is you don't know that somebody said no. You just went in, you did awesome, and as far as you know, everybody thinks you just like Killed are it. the best and amazing. You know when you get older and yeah. that they don't call you back to do it or yeah. something, or you don't get the part where or you're you like, see the Ooh. commercial on TV and you're like, so this means I didn't get it. I can't uh, tell you how many times, times I saw the better Jen Smedley on TV going, my so son. many times she smiles a lot more uh, than I do. Yes, yeah, same. That's, I mean. And you're like, I'm happy for them. And then there were a couple I was like, I'm not happy for them. I don't like them. I don't want them to get it. But because That's just he's, one. He's but I'm not going to name names. Invested. Like one of the tricks of like doing anything in life is the less stakes you put on yourself, the better you'll do. It's 100% true. It's how dates work. I tell you it's what. It's 100% if true. If I walk into like, I'm not dating anymore. I want to be. With this guy, I was so fucking charismatic. Sure. And like, on, like I was just. Yeah. I couldn't, like, get the guy to leave me alone. Right. But as soon as I cared, he's like... Well, it's care in that way. It's such a tricky thing because it's that care where you have to, at some point in your life, put yourself outside of the situation and go, how much of this really matters? Like, how yeah. much... And I think a kid has this ability to be like, the only thing that matters is what I'm doing right now, and then I'm on to the next, and we're cool. And I think as adults, we go this thing matters because it's going to matter tomorrow. And it's like, oh, oh my God, my past matters and my now matters, my forward matters and everything. I do think <laughs> I put this thought together, which might make sense or be annoying bullshit. But I do think if you, if people went on, literally went on dates and they said, I'm going to make this moment fun and important and just because this is two hours of my life, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go do this. And I think like, if when people are auditioning and I'm sure Finn does this and that's yeah. why he's great about it or great at it is that he's like, Oh, I get to go in and see if I can make people laugh for a couple minutes. I'm going to go do that. And I'm going to have the best like couple minutes Yeah, here's rather what than I, like the world is on my shoulders. Totally. But here's what I will tell you about this experience is he never went into a room. He, when he did commercials or with, when was oh, with yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so he never went in front of so they any watched humans. Him, okay. They watched him a second time on video again. On video again. Oh, no, no, no. It gets better. So then they're like, hey, we would like to do a producer session. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So what then I'm starting. Mean? So producers are the people that are making the TV show and they're the big names. So here's who I'm going to tell like, you. They're we've like, got, we've got skin in this game. We've got skin. We're gonna Mike decide. O'Malley who okay. you would recognize is the dad from Glee. He's also oh. a stand-up comedian. He used to wear always wear a Boston hat and he would like curve the bill. Lovely man. Just like obviously so Irish and and from Boston and cool. And then John Cryer, who is oh the um uh <laughs> ducky. two and a half men. He's two and a half ducky. men. He's ducky. He's ducky, he's ducky you ducky. guys. If you're us, he's ducky. <laughs> For the moms, it's ducky, you guys. And I read that and I was like, well, that means those guys are going to be on this on this Zoom, on this weird Zoom. So I'm behind a weird computer watching Finn do Kristen's this Zoom. crapping her pants and shaking. Well, I, yes, because I was like, whoa. What is Ducky we? looking at me and right now? And I can now? hear John Cryer's yeah. voice. And I can, I'm, like, I'm like, you don't understand the romantic comedy world. Finn, you only know YouTubers. So yeah. Finn does a great job. And then we get a call. What is it Empire? No, no, no. Let oh, me just God. say this. John Cryer was so nice to Finn and talked with such a, like a gentle tone that Finn was, um, I think John can almost be so quiet that he, Finn was like, it's weird when you're on a Zoom to hold attention. So I think when Finn did that callback, I was like, that was r really hard and weird. And you know what? Let's just let it be. Yeah. I was like, Finn, you just got another trophy, dude. You just yeah. made it to another part. You handled it so well. You were great. So Finn gets it, gets the part, and it's really exciting. And we're like, holy crap. What? And Mind yet, blown. Yet, there's a big part of me that while this is all happening, and I've always said this, is that Hollywood is an adult business 
that needs kids. So you are in a tricky, I was like, as exciting as this is, and as cool as this is, as his mother, I've got one priority and one priority only, and it is that boy. And I want to make sure that like my head is in the right space that I'm not like over. I mean, it's overwhelming. It is it's big and it's grand. So we yeah. go to this. We go and, to this. And she's got to like, she. so in Kristen's head, she's like, I'm going to shadow this kid. Yeah. So I make sure that like there's like, because look, you love Finn. Let's be honest. We don't want him to like, like. Yeah, uh, I don't want to be his assistant. But you're like, this is this like crazy. This is this crazy world. Yeah. And so I just want to. You, legally, you have to be there for them anymore, yeah. which is fantastic. It and is good, and also it's even better for him because you are the kind of mom who's like, no, 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 you, you. There's no hierarchy here. He's a kid, and he's gonna get his own soda, 100%. and he's gonna like grab his own lunch, and nobody's gonna like treat him like a star. 100%. You're you're there to keep him humble and as fully Nebraska as 100%. he can be. One hundred percent. And the things that Finn was delighted by were the things that like warmed my heart because like he, so we have dressing rooms, but Finn's dressing room. Cause he's like, like a, just a kid. And also like not a star. Thank God. And like, and also he's new. like, who's John Cryer. He is, he doesn't yeah. know any of them. So let yeah. me tell you who the cast is. Unbelievable. John Cryer. Yep. Donald Faison. Daddy. Who, who you know from, yeah. Um, I thought you were saying like he would be so happy if you're like daddy. No, I, uh, Chris and I was saying both things. Uh, so he was on ER. Scrubs, you Scrubs. dummy. Fucking God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See what my problem is? Scrubs. Matthew Broderick was on e- No. You need to keep Matthew Broderick out of your mouth. Okay. So ER was George Clooney. Yes. Remember he was on. Okay. But I'm before, going to kill you. Before Facts he was life. on Thank ER. You. Before he was on that too, he was on a sitcom called ER. So that I'm going to punch you in the it. face. Okay. okay. Somebody knows it. So he was, so that Donald Faison, John Cryer, um, uh, Abigail Spencer, who was on suits in the later season. Abigail Spencer. Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. Tall, beautiful. Like, was, could, thought I was looking in the mirror when I met her. Totally. Yes. Yeah. She is also not even close to being blonde. But anyway, and then um, Lenny, who. Oh dang, my God. I love that guy. Lenny, shoot. I got to get his last name. Okay. Let me get that. Because that's important. Because Lenny. Okay. So we got to go to a taping. Yep. I know I'm jumping ahead. But I have to say that, like, besides that I feel like, you know, Finn is like, if any child is close to my niece or nephew, oh it is God. Finn and they Eleanor. Are. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we got to go to a taping. The so kids awesome. went. It was so special. It was so magical. The kids still talk about it they forced Brit to drive them to go see his billboard. I know it's crazy. I know I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead, but just to go back, the kids are so excited about it. So we all went to the show and every time Finn and Lenny come out, it's like the crowd goes, (gasps) yeah, he they really just, like, come out and drop magic. It's so amazing. It's so, yes, that episode was, is going to come out later. And, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, it's really circles around Finn, which I was like, I'm like in the corner barfing going like, Oh my God, this is so much respect. I, w- I don't want him to feel pressure. I want him to feel safe. Like we're on set. Here's what I can tell you in the fastest way possible. <laughs> that isn't taking away from the fun of this conversation is that literally, and I'm, this is not bullshit. This is not like somebody go- giving an Emmy speech. That's like maybe telling the truth or maybe not telling the truth. The, the crew and the cast are wonderful. And I feel so lucky that Finn is in a crew with uh, parents who yeah. get it, uh, who are kind, who are soft-spoken. Because Finn is going to um, be a seventh grader sometimes. And and because of that, like, I love that the, you know, the, the he has such a good rapport with everyone and they – Give him just enough like guff that's real, and yeah. but they also are educating him, and he's they're patient. But Finn also shows up. I, my son drives me crazy more than anybody, but I will tell you, I'm so impressed with this kid because it matters to him, and he has to memorize lines, and he has to say things with comic yeah. timing. He has to like be you know in a scene and not show off and mug, and he's present, and he's like, I am so blown away with him i would never say this to his face because i'm trying to keep him humble y'all but like he really is 
doing such a good job. And I see him growing every time he gets to do it there. He learns something. He, he knows how to hold his script in his hand the right way. Like it's just these things that he's learning that are so positive. And I never, I think I thought only the negative would kind of come with it. Cause you hear all those horror yeah, you, stories. He, that's all you we, hear. You don't hear all you, the good stuff. When you end up with this type of caliber of writer, producer, director, cast, studio, it is, it's like, it's incredible. They're all so nice. You And you can tell that like the, they like him. They like love the, him. The director likes him. So the guy that's like on set is like giving everybody the commands. Let's do that again. Yep. We didn't get it. We want it better. We want it faster, whatever it yep. is. Like all these people that could be frustrated with Finn were not. And my favorite Oh, God, moment please. of the entire night. Do you know what I'm going to say? I know what you're going to say. This okay. is like, okay, but you have to set the stage. Okay. okay. So we, this is, we go to the live <laughs> taping. Fantastic. And it is, it's such a big deal that like they, it's not canned laughter. It's the audience is yeah. really laughing at these live tapings. So like there is a stand up comedian that keeps you like warm and stuff because you're sitting there for like yeah, four and five hours. It's a long. While, and, and like the more, professional even the kids are on the set the yep. faster it goes it's better for everybody if that's everybody what i'm saying they act like adults are like yeah you know it's so tricky we're sitting there and like it was it was going great and everybody was like so excited and for the most part it, everybody's so excited to be there and finn is killing it every time he comes out he's hilarious and i wanted to say like finn is has this like thing where he's funny when he doesn't know that he's being funny. That's when he's the funniest. And it's so delightful. So like there was this scene that, and I can't remember, they were trying to get it like shorter or faster or yeah. something. And Finn was just waiting and he was like sitting at a computer desk yeah, on the set or something. Like kind of relaxed. Quote unquote in his room. And he just burped like he just he, his he just relaxed open, and his mouth was open and I just because I feel like I'm this person who does this where I'm like I'm so happy and I just fart and I'm like <laughs> you guys I just felt so comfortable with all of you yeah he just like that. forgot himself that like there's literally three cameras in his face and mics and lights and he kind of I think kind of spaced he out just, for a moment he was thinking and he was like, for a second and it came out like a 12 year old like is gonna do and Everybody on set, nobody was like irritated. Everybody At all. died. I was like, Abigail's gonna pee her white leather pants. Yeah. Like she's laughing so hard. And like, that's what I'm saying. They don't like recoil or like go, okay, everybody get it together. They like let the moment like, happen. He's 12 and it's hilarious. It's delightful. And then Finn goes, You guys heard that, right? <laughs> of course he's <laughs> on a mic. It's like dying even more. Uh, and then he starts laughing yeah, because so he treats he everybody like he's we're in not, his living room you yeah. know he and knows we're not laughing at him we're laughing because oh he with him he, like he's loving it the live pseudo audience is like theater and he digs it and i have to say i forgot to say sophia capana is playing his sister and oh god she's so great what a kid and like they get along so well so every day they have school they have to do school together and yes this is the tricky part when you're like God, how do you keep it social yeah. stuff and everything? We are working as hard as two parents can work and also obviously bringing in Eleanor into the fold. Eleanor has her own security badge. That should not surprise you. Oh, my like, God. Was, Eleanor sat with us for the taping. Because she wanted to be with the stand-up com comedy guy. Yeah. So and she she's got like, many, I'm tired of Finn. Many, many hot bits in. And oh, so I know. did Dashiell. They she was a runaway train because yeah. I wasn't next to her. So she yeah. was like, hey, was can me. I do my... My imitation, I'm like, oh, sit down. It was like, both her and Dashiell were like, yeah, lip it, bit, bip, 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 bitty, bitty, bit, bits yep. the whole time. And it was then delightful. Everybody loved it. Everybody and was so excited. I think, you know, because I, I have no like stake in the game other than that. Like, yes, you do, because well, you know that you see me like panicked or worried about all the things that I mean. I know I you mean, do. I shouldn't say that because you're it, on our contact list as people that can be with him on set. Oh my so. God. Well, that's what I was going to say. E even as like, as I was saying it, I'm like, no, I'm so invested that like, I will go break legs if yeah. somebody is mean to him, but nobody is like, no. it's been great. And that it's like magical it's been great. and, and that's not bullshit. And, and I think, yeah. I think, um, if I were holding anything back, you would know it. Like I, yeah.
it's been really, really awesome. I think it's weird being a stage mom. I'll be honest. That's weird. Like, yeah, being off, being off to the side and sort of making sure he's okay. Because Finn is accidentally kind of doing this. And Kristen, you don't think that's lost on me. Yeah. He, he's like, he tripped into this. He Irish looked himself right into the top. No student films where you shoot for three weeks and you don't get the edit. Gad, are you kidding no, me? No yeah. improv shows with three people where you're begging everybody audience. to show up. Yeah, you I'm not resentful. Straight to prime time, man. That doesn't prime time. happen. Are you jo- <laughs> killing me? Are you joking me right now? Like, yeah. n- I'm sure everyone's like, I bet Kristen is fueled on the side. Just like, what the fuck? But I'm not. I really am not because I think... I just care about him more than yeah. anything. And no, but there's parts of it that suck because as all moms are, like you're kind of working for him right now. Yeah, you like, feel like an assistant. Look, it's no different than a, if you're going your kids in dance team or you're going to oh. freaking you're sidelining it on a tennis oh, your, court your or your daughters in five different dances in a recital and you, forget you're it. just hauling costume to like different And you're bent spot. over putting yeah. their tights on. You're no different. Like it's it's the same thing if you're if you got a kid that's doing something that isn't your time, you're you're working for them on some level. It's just weird that like I'm on the side of this thing looking in. And here's the other weird thing that I think just needs to be said. <laughs> that you know all this stuff. That I know and, all this stuff. And they're they're like And that Jen and I have shot our own pilot that we that we were it's just the most bizarre thing. So yeah. that that we know I kinda know how it works, but I'm but it's new because it's him. But I like knowing that I know a few things going in that because I can't imagine like a mom who would show up that was literally from Oklahoma, and then their kid got into this thing. It would be very... And, and I would love to say maybe that is going on a date and just enjoying the time that you're there because yeah. you don't realize the stakes. Maybe. Maybe, maybe they're better off know. because I'm like... To not know, like, I don't know who the producer is, so I'm just, I'm being friendly and not, like, I'm nonplussed by whoever it is that I'm talking. I am talking yeah. to the head of NBC right now, and I don't know that, so it doesn't you're matter. Probably right. kind of. You're it probably might, right. In some ways, it might be easier. Well, here's what I'll say. The first six episodes that we shot, um, everybody had to be in masks because there was still a required pandemic contract from forever that was still, they're figuring it out. So it was last year, but it feels like it's crazy. It's crazy. So the masks really made everybody feel, you know, standoffish and you just, the protocol was very strict and yeah, you can't see people smiling when they say things. So then when the strike happened and everybody was like, oh my God, this this these jobs go away and you what have the to fuck understand else? aliens land right. what else is gonna and you have to understand universe. this industry in this town is no different than if there was like a you know a car making factory in a town that supported a town it is not the people no, that are the is. john criers that are and john crier is lovely he's all right he's all right he's gonna be fine fine financially but financially it's, it's but everybody who your craft service and, your yeah. wardrobe you all these people get jobs so when we came back from the strike and we didn't have to wear masks and everybody knew there was a job the delight in yeah. people was i mean it was awesome and i knew why they were being this way and it was they were happy to see finn and they were like buddy this is gonna be great and so he's just feel so proud of himself but we also make sure that like he thinks that this is the coolest extracurricular thing he's ever done he knows it's a big deal he knows he's on a billboard he he kind of doesn't care that much because he sees it and then he's like i'm I'm next to a 7-eleven which has my favorite pizza like he we we he wears his like regular uh uh school uniform he would be just as excited if like his baseball team was on this billboard you know it's the same like thing to him yes Yes. And he's proud of it, but it's not the thing that he's, he will happily talk baseball stats and he doesn't know that this is a thing that people will talk about. He knows he's getting a little bit of attention. We've been really careful. We've been, um, because that's my job is to be in front of anything that might get weird. I also remind him all the time, like be polite, be like aware of the people that are around you that are helping you say please and thank you. Get your own stuff. Nobody's going to wait on you. Like, and then when you get home, you're going to pick up dog poop and you're going to walk those dogs. And like, you know, like, I just don't want him to feel uh, spoiled or like too, too, 
you know, does that sound terrible? Does that make me sound terrible? I just don't think. No, a normal adult does not give a shit what a twelve year old. You're not gonna get in a chat with a twelve year old. You're like, God, kill me. That's what I've said. Like when Kristen and I talk about this, I go, my only worry would be like, are people going to treat him in a way that will make him think like, oh, am I? Yes, and that's why I'm there to go. No, you're not. Yeah, but he's also too, which. Like, it's not just extracurricular because it takes up, like, he's there during the day. He's there during the he day. he still goes to school during the day. So if he's not, like, up doing his lines and stuff yes, like that. he's in a school room. He is in a, a classroom with he a teacher that's Trish. keeping him up to date. And Trish She's is keeping him, like, awesome. so when he goes back to school Monday. He's fully when he's integrated. Not, he is, like, on the same page, literally yep. in the workbook as everybody else. Yep. And so, to his credit, like, he's to doing his all credit. of that. Like, he really is. And I think I was really worried about, you know, that all this kind of getting away from us. And now what I've realized is that he loves it and he's doing a good job. Yeah. And this is. You can make it work. We're and, making it work. Yeah. We're, he's still in basketball. Like, he's still going to all these, like, he's got extracurriculars, which, you know, luckily I had a, a couple friends that I could ask these questions to who had worked when they were young. And I was like, what was the key element of, like, staying, like, happy? And and, and he was like, just have a cur- extracurricular stuff. And, like, yeah. we, we, we hit the lotto with our studio teacher. She is wonderful. That's Trish. Trish. Yeah. She is, when I say... She is an advocate. She is, she has to, she, she goes with them on set. She goes with them in the school and also the parents are there, but she just doesn't mess around and she makes sure their schoolwork is done and she's engaged and she loves them. Can it's Trish wonderful. come to my house? Trish way, will. I mean, oh she God. went to a Finn, Finn's baseball game. Sophia came to a baseball game and made a sign for him. And Sophia is without a doubt gorgeous and Finn uh-oh. Finn's on a baseball team. I would say that like there's a three year old and a guy that sells insurance and they're all eleven. And he was playing on his baseball team and she came to the game and brought a sign. And of course Sophia's mom is awesome. Her name's Mia. We're becoming very good friends. So she made a sign for him that That's said like, too like cute. Wait, it was so cute. And but she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And so she shows up and she's like two years older than him. And hubba hubba. The boys were a disaster. They yeah. were like ten percent like, of the team not interested. Ten percent of the team not interested, and that ten percent is Finn Sweeney. He's like, hey, <laughs> and then the other guys were like, uh, my cup feels mm. weird. <sighs> you know, I don't know if I can bat. Like there mm, were, yep, and darling, and Real darling, life. they are becoming. I'm so grateful. It's, she's the kid she's that she sweet. is. She's, cute. she's I super she's, sweet. She's super cute. And uh, they're they're really becoming this little tight little unit. And I'm gra- I'm grateful there's another kid there. It really yeah. gives them pe- people to talk to. They're just having a really good time. It's a good time. It's I'll, Eventually, I'm sure there will be things that are different. But right now. Well, sure. I always. It's yeah. harder on us as parents. A hundred percent. We just I- make the place nice for him. But we're. <laughs> Look how tired I am. We've been at <laughs> the whole well, thing. Well, when I um, sold advertising, I worked for like to LA Broderick. Times and Auto Trader and Matthew Broderick, all these yep. places. Like yep. the thing that I was always doing was like I would go into an organization and I usually was talking to like third in charge, you know, maybe fourth or fifth in charge about like where they were going to spend these dollars to try yeah. and get like advertising dollars. And the th- a lot of times I'd be with like the guy that owned it. Yeah. And unfortunately, it was usually the guy. A couple times, yeah. maybe the lady. But like, I know. It would be the person in charge. And they always say like the fish stinks from the head. Yeah. So if whoever is like running the show yeah. is nice and kind, and that's the environment that they set, like, you're totally right. That is how it's going to be. And if it's like, Eat your own, fight against each other, fight to survive and impress yeah. me. It will be that way. Yeah. But it it comes from like, so whoever is like. I got to give big props to Mike O'Malley. And he, he um, we were sitting at a table and he was like, he's, he's funny. He's got this really strong personality that I really like. He, it feels like at any point he's going to put me in a headlock. Like he's like, that like guy. That. He's like an I Irish like guy. You know what yeah. I mean? You know you yeah. love that. So he's like. He's got this hat. It's like tipped to the side. He's got two boys. So he, you know, re- and they played baseball for the same league that Finn was on. So he's having all this nostalgia with Finn being yeah. the AGS. Probably boys missing are- a slight sensitivity chip because he needs to have a girl to like level him out maybe. Well, yeah. I, th- 
TBD. So, <laughs> so, um, but I think he's, you know, warm, fuzzy when it comes to like the kids of the cast. Oh, yeah. That's great. And he's really protective. You know, he was on Glee, the boy that we got the name from, Finn, died of a drug overdose. Like there were, mm. he has seen tragedy with, with young actors and it's just like, it's terrifying. So he's so protective of those kids, yeah. of my kids. And uh, Sophia, my kid, zzz, now yeah. Sophia now she's is yours. now in. Yeah. Um, uh, so he sat us down at a table and he's like, look, it's really important that the kids stay kids, that they get to do their fun stuff. So don't be afraid to come tell me. He gave us his personal phone number. He goes, if you have stuff that your family wants to go to, Finn has a baseball game, like not only let me know so we can get him out of here and so he can go make it, but tell me so I can go watch, so I can go see mm. him do his thing. He's very That's kind. So, so I'm in a mask and I can feel my eyes are like, I'm like, pull it together. And like, I did. I could hear him talk to yeah. Finn on Finn's mic and yeah. he was saying He's, like, hey, does that make sense? If you can do, yeah. like when he was giving him direction and in stuff such like a, that. Yes. He, yes. he was like, saying it to him because you you can tell the difference between somebody who has kids and somebody who doesn't the way that they speak to them because somebody yeah. who doesn't have kids says something to your kid and I'm like let me translate to you yeah. like uh, the child like how to say that but you could tell that he was like hey I don't want you to think you did something wrong I just want you to do it differently yep. because Build they're confidence. gonna want it to be faster this way or whatever like I, you could tell he was that's why this set him. like you said is so good is because of him because there's no bigger pressure cooker Sounds hot he he's lovely I mean he's so lovely and uh uh it meant the world to me that he said that because as we were sitting in that table um I was kind of quiet and I was looking at the clock because I knew Eleanor had a improv show at 5 30 and we were kind of sitting there and and uh uh Finn i uh, just spit on Jen Finn goes uh uh she just burped you guys hey, hey Mike you see where it comes from I didn't I farted just kidding I'm uh, Matthew Roderick so uh, Finn was sitting at the table and Mike said you know we want you to be kids I want to know when you're doing stuff I don't want you to miss out on everything we can we can talk about it like keep it open for me and uh little Finn just was like um, can I, can I go to my sister's improv show? Mm. And he's like, when is it? And he goes now. And it wasn't right then, but it was going to be in about an hour and a half. And I was a little stressed. Yeah. And Mike goes, get out of here, kid. Uh, and so then like they high five and like, we went to Eleanor's show. It was about Eleanor. And like, there is this thing that I think they recognize that like, we have to keep this feeling of as much normalcy and that like the siblings are part of it and the families are part That's of it. Cause you spend too wonderful. much time. Yeah. It was very cool. I, yeah. I was like, you get a big win and not that I'm anybody, but like, you know, it, you're somebody to me. Thanks. Thanks kitten. Not only are you hot, smart, hilarious, Thank you. Family, I'm sure you can Google it and you can find all the information. So watch it December 23rd. And that sweet little baseball player is our fan. He's, yeah, he's, yep. He he does it. I'm so proud of him. And do then we, just keep watching. Do we podcast? I think we did. Do, think we, we have did. to do anything else? Mm -hmm.